Well, well, well. So we're here again. So it seems you've watched my earlier video and you're still not getting any growth. You've made 10 to 20 videos on YouTube. You've done everything you can. Now you're just stuck and need help. Mm, that's a problem. That's where I come in. I'm a problem solver. Hey guys, I'm back. Today we're going to be going over some advanced tips. Some tips that are going to help you get you through that rough patch that you seem to be going through. If you're new here, like, comment, subscribe. I'm sure you know that there are plenty of YouTube channels out there giving you tips and tricks on how to grow your YouTube channel. But I'm sure you, I'm pretty sure that you've watched those videos too. And that's why we're here today to give you even more tips. But these tips are going to be a little more advanced. They're going to be a little more dedicated toward people who have 10 or more videos out there and can't find the growth. In doing this, we're going to get you more likes, more comments and what you want the most more subscribers so let's get started first tip get a professional channel banner and logo this is going to be how you differentiate your channel from the other channel this is going to be what people see when they come to your channel this is going to be your image so make sure to get a professional channel banner and logo because this is what separates the men from the boys, the women from the girls, the adults from the kids. You get where I'm going with this. This is how you separate yourself and make yourself stand out. Now, if you're not the greatest at graphic design, or even if you are really good at graphic design and you think your channel banner looks OK, it's always good to have somebody else's opinion, somebody else's thought input into what they think your banner should look like or what they think your channel icon or logo should look like. Because even though we like what our logo looks like, it's always good to step back and have somebody else do it so they can come at it at a different angle than you can come at it. Because that might be the difference on one subscriber or five subscribers. Now, if you're like some people who have no idea on where they can go and get a cheap channel banner or logo, then I would suggest going to Fiverr.com. They have everything ranging from consulting to a logo all the way up to them doing the logo for you, all the way up to them doing even more than that. But since you're just getting started, I wouldn't say just getting started. Since you're just looking for a change of pace, something new, something to grow your channel, I wouldn't go to the really expensive things, the $50 to $1,000 on them creating a channel logo for you and a graphic design for you. I would say stick around the $10, the $5 to $10 range and see what somebody else can bring to you that may be just what your channel needs to get that growth. Guys, because remember, your channel and your channel graphics are going to represent you and you're going to use those as a platform to create a community that cares about your passion just as much as you do. All right, guys, second tip, video title and thumbnail optimization. All right, guys, y'all spent hours and hours on editing these videos, getting the videos ready, and now you've uploaded the video. All right. Now, while the video is processing, it's not time to just sit back, think of a five minute title and three minute thumbnail. This is the most important time. This is the time where you decide whether or not your video is going to get clicked on or it's not. Believe it or not, your thumbnail to the video and your title to the video is actually going to be more important than the video. Now, I know a lot of you guys like, no, I spent so much time on the video. No, I've done this and that for the video. The video is more important. Yes, the content's important, 
but getting that person to click on the video is where you win the battle. Okay. If you can get somebody to click on the video, then you've already won. Whether they watch the full thing or not, you've already got them interested in what your channel has to offer. And that's all you need is to get people interested. Because if they click your video, then they're more likely to be recommended to another one of your videos. And that's where it starts. Now, if you're wondering what kind of software do we use? What kind of software do I use when I create my thumbnails? What kind of, or what? Do, how much money do I spend when I create the thumbnail? Well, I use Adobe Spark to create my thumbnails. There's a free version and there's also a paid version. I recommend going with the free version, mess around with it a little bit, see if you like it. And if you really like it, you can go with the paid version which I think is around nine to $10 a month. And that's a small investment when you're looking at growing a community, but also it can be free. You don't have to get the pro version. If you guys want a video later on on how I do my thumbnails for my videos, how I research and do my titles, and then just let me know. I'll do a video later on explaining the whole process. All right, guys, the third tip is going to go hand in hand with the second tip going to be video research. Now, what I mean by this is we've already tried or you've already tried releasing videos on what you like and how you're doing and everything related to your channel that you think you need to release. But now, now it's time to dig in and do a little research because we're not seeing any growth that way. So now it's trying to find ways to find some growth. And the way we're going to do is video research. All right, well, what you're going to do is just for a second, we're going to step outside the box. What you're going to do is you're going to look for a video that interests you. That is a trending topic right now that people are talking about. Okay. You're going to, and you're going to Google that, or you're not going to Google that. You're going to do a YouTube search on that. Find a video that has a lot of views. Doesn't have too many videos covering that and make a similar video. The reason why I'm saying that is because you're going to get similar people in that video, you're going to get the similar audience that you're looking for to get that growth. It's just going to come from a different angle. We're just going to try something from a different angle and we're going to see the results. See if that helps organic growth come to your channel. Guys, cause just remember all we need to do is kickstart your growth. And then once it starts, it's not going to stop. Okay. So I'm just going to give you an example. Say you release gameplay videos of you compiling all your gameplay into just the top 10 moments of like Call of Duty. Well, instead of releasing another top 10 moments of Call of Duty or another highlights of the Call of Duty gameplay, let's take a step back and release a next gen console talk video where you talk about your opinion on the next gen consoles that are coming out, the next gen Xbox and next gen PlayStation, and just give your thoughts and opinions. And that video is going to bring in people that you wouldn't normally get that are watching highlights of Call of Duty or highlights of gameplay. However, it's not that those people don't watch that gameplay. They just would have never seen your gameplay without going to talk about the next gen consoles. Fourth tip. Okay. This is SEO search engine optimization. This is how you're going to get your video to appear first in the search results when other people are searching for a similar topic or the same topic that you're talking about. Now, I'm sure all of us have looked at how to do this. All of us have watched videos on how to optimize our searches and how to get them down or get our video ranked above other people. So, you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to talk about it. If you really want to know about it, there's plenty of videos out there. Just know fourth tip is search engine optimization. The fifth tip of this is going to be consistency guys make sure to stay consistent when releasing your videos at least one video a week should be uploaded to youtube unless you're one of those channels that do really in-depth content that do a lot of research that i mean the video just comes together perfectly then you can release one video a month but it's going to be really hard to gain traction doing that it should be at least when you're in this stage to try to get that growth, you got about 10 videos uploaded. There should be one video a week because if you do one video a week and you're consistent about uploading on the same day a week, then YouTube's algorithm is going to pick you up and they're going to be more likely to recommend you 
if you do this. If you, if you don't post more than once a week or less than once a week, then YouTube's algorithm isn't gonna recommend your videos and it's gonna be really hard to be discovered without going through some external thing like paying for ads or paying for somebody else to advertise you. Also, go ahead and create a series. Go ahead and create a playlist of something. Because if you do that, and one of your videos go viral, YouTube is gonna be more likely to recommend that next video in the playlist for that viewer to watch. If they watch that video too, they're that much more likely to be turned in to a subscriber to your channel. All right, guys, that's going to be all for the tips today, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 